I've been studying the latest research on saturated fat and heart disease and the findings are quite interesting and challenge some of the things we've believed for a long time. One big review looked at studies that lasted at least two years. They actually found that eating less saturated fat for a long time might not make a big difference in terms of dying from heart disease or other causes. The research also suggests that changing the amount of saturated fat you eat probably won't affect your chance of having a first heart attack. However, if you've already had a heart attack, eating less saturated fat could possibly help lower your risk of having another one. See, when people cut out fat, they often end up eating more sugar, processed carbs, and junk food instead, which isn't good for health. Swapping natural fats like butter for highly processed plant-based options isn't a great idea either. And several articles suggest that we should focus on cutting back on sugar, processed foods, and certain oils like canola, cotton seed, and soybean oil, rather than worrying too much about saturated fat from whole food. Other studies looking at large groups of people found no link between eating fat of any kind and heart disease, heart attacks, or dying from heart disease. In fact, Replacing saturated fats with some plant oils actually increases the risk of heart disease. Swapping fat for carbs and sugars also increases the risk of heart disease and death. Even a major review in a top heart health journal suggests there is no scientific proof that limiting saturated fat prevents heart disease. Few articles point out that some older studies actually showed that replacing animal fats with certain plant oils increased the risk of heart attacks, cancer, and early death. Now, I think this review could change how we think about cholesterol and LDL in relation to heart health. Now, they say eating whole foods rich in saturated fats like butter, fatty meats, and full-fat dairy is important because they provide essential nutrients for good health. The standard cholesterol test measures two types of LDL together. You have large buoyant LDL type A and a small dense LDL type B. See, large buoyant LDL, which makes up 80% of LDL particles, is neutral for heart health, while small dense LDL making up 20% of LDL particles is the true bad cholesterol that contributes to plaque buildup in arteries. Lastly, the biggest risk factor for heart attacks and questions the idea of LDL cholesterol is the most important thing to look at for heart health. It turns out that triglyceride levels and the ratio of, of triglyceride to HDL are better ways to predict the risk of heart attacks. See, high triglycerides are actually linked to insulin resistance which is caused by eating too many refined carbs and sugars. And to lower the risk of heart attacks, it's important to eat mostly unprocessed foods, exercise, avoid smoking, and cut back on hydrogenated fats and certain omega-6 fats while eating more omega-3s and animal fats. And I think it's time to rethink what we've been told about saturated fat on heart health. The evidence suggests that the advice to eat a low-fat diet may not be the best approach for preventing heart disease. It's important for healthcare professionals to stay up to date on the research and provide recommendations based on the latest evidence to help people make informed decisions about their diet and health.